Spicy corn soup with poblano chilies and cream. Poblano chilies vary in heat. Be sure your guests are game for adventure before making this because the recipe title says it all. It's spicy. The pomegranate seeds, used at the end for garnish, give the soup a great look and add a hint of sourness. If pomegranates are not in season, use cilantro leaves, which are pretty, too, but don't create the same buzz that the seeds do. This soup can, and should, be made year-round, with local fresh corn in the summer and frozen kernels at other times. Ideally, buy corn that has been picked the same day and start the soup when you get home from the farm stand or farmer's market, which is to say, if the only fresh corn available to you is shucked and pre-wrapped, think twice about buying it. Ingredients for six serves. Six ears of fresh corn or three and one half cups of frozen corn kernels. Two large poblano chili peppers. One medium red onion. Two garlic cloves. 12 cilantro sprigs. Three tablespoons corn oil. Six cups of chicken broth. One teaspoon of ground cumin. 1 teaspoon dried oregano 1 teaspoon salt 3 quarters cup heavy cream Seeds of 1 pomegranate, if in season for garnish Steps 1. If using fresh corn, shuck and remove the silk Holding each ear of corn upright on a cutting board and starting from the tip Slice off the kernels, cutting as close to the cob as possible with a small sharp knife Gather the kernels and reserve 2. Wash have and seed the poblano chiles. Discard the stems and chop the chilies into small pieces. Peel, trim, and finely dice the onion. Peel, trim, and slice the garlic. Tie the cilantro sprigs together with the kitchen string. Three, in a heavy medium pot, saute the chopped chiles and onion in the corn oil over medium heat, stirring until the onion is translucent. Add the garlic and saute taking care not to let it brown. Add the chicken broth, cumin, oregano, salt, and cilantro. Bring the mixture to a boil and simmer for about 30 minutes. Four, add the corn kernels and cook for five minutes. Turn off the heat, remove the cilantro, discard it, and let the soup cool. Five, in a blender or food processor, puree the soup in small batches. Return the puree to the pot. Six, when ready to serve, gently bring the soup to a boil. Taste and correct the seasonings. Turn off the heat and stir in the heavy cream, mixing well. If you are using a pomegranate, carefully cut it in half. The juice makes a nasty stain. Remove some of the seeds and sprinkle a few on top of each serving 